G'day, I'm Adrian Allenberg, Australia's worst comedian. And welcome back to Worst Chef, where I try and cook complex meals with a small amount of time and even less skill. And today, we're cooking macarons. A complex dish to say the least. They're just like a nice little dainty sort of dessert. And I've got these big fucking bratwurst fingers. I don't know how I'm gonna really be able to do it. We have two flavors of macaron today. Green pistachios. And then we're gonna go just basic vanilla. Fuck yeah, I'm excited. We need a cup of icing sugar, cup of ground almonds, two free range egg whites, small pinch of salt, Ooh, pinchy, quarter of a cup of caster sugar, two thirds of a cup of unsalted butter, cause fuck salt, two thirds of a cup of icing sugar. Bang! That's our fucking recipe, let's do it. Should take around 40 minutes to cook. Start. Here we go. It's good to be hygienic when cooking. You sift that motherfucker out. Now let's add the almond meal. As you can see on this side is the retarded American measurements. And on the other side, far more intuitive and all round better metric system. Shots fired. Whisk that motherfucker in. We need two egg whites. Egg white one. And motherfucking egg white too. And just a little pinch of salt. <laughs> pinch of salt. Whisk until soft peaks form. You would think after a year, we had the foresight to invest in an electronic beater. Well, you'd be wrong. Oh man, this is very taxing on the arms. On the old pipes, you know? Snowy Alps, Vallis Alps, fading. It's a good song. If your peaks are soft and they're ready, you should be able to pour the bowl upside down with no fear. Oh, I really expected to have to clean that up off the floor. Good, soft peaks, created. CS, caster sugar, CS go. You storm and B. Slowly whisk this in. Now we whisk this in there. There's just a lot of whisking, isn't there? We're gonna eat this exactly when the timer goes. Whatever stage we're at is what we're eating. So we gotta get a fucking wriggle on. <laughs> Using a piping bag. Well, what do you know? I've got a piping bag right here. We don't have time. <laughs> Again, hygiene number one. How do you attach this shit? Oh God, this is where all my time's gonna go. Oh God, okay, we're at 20 minutes. Good, there we go. Okay, good. Now we ladle this mixture in here. Oh God. Oh, I probably should have got the baking tray first. It, <laughs> macarons make a good last minute dessert. So if you've got guests over in 19 minutes, it's good to get started on one of the most complex dishes. Natural vanilla essence, okay? Good, because it's natural. I'm almost sure you were supposed to add this at any other point, but now. In it goes, and then you just shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake and not stirred, please. We commence with our little macaron shapes. A little flatter than expected. Maybe they'll expand in the oven. de pistachify these pistachios. These are all culinary terms I wouldn't expect you to understand. This is called a mortar and a pestle. This is the one of the fanciest ways to just crush the shit out of something. This is actually quite an expensive bit of machinery because it's very technologically advanced. Look at that. Add our green food coloring. You'll see that color mix in beautifully. Oh, mamma mia, as the French would say. Just fucking pack it in. Oh, come on, you bastard. Good enough. Famous chef saying, good enough. Find your Michelin star chef saying that. Here we go. Very good. We don't want them to mix. We want to keep our borders safe. Other macarons that would do us harm. As you can see, it's spilling out in the wrong direction. So we're just going to make our own little macaron by doing this. Fan bake. No, I don't want... No, fuck it, fan. We're going to... Preheat to absolute maximum. In the meantime, we're gonna get to work on the icing. Oh, seven and a half minutes, okay. We, we don't have time to preheat. <laughs> we don't have time to preheat, so we're just gonna put them in as is. There's a secret little, a secret little baker's trick that I learned when I was living in Vietnam, when I was living in France. And what you do is instead of waiting longer, you just put it in at twice the heat. It's the same thing. So the macarons are about two times the intended heat right now. By my maths, that should cook three times as quickly. An accurate measurement, you just want to put your finger around there and just squeeze the shit out of it, yeah? Probably should have sifted it, no, no big deal. I believe I have mere minutes left now. And all we really have is some sweet butter and some bottles in the oven. Okay, we have uh, two minutes 14. Can this go any faster? Mmm, spaghetti. <laughs> shit, okay, okay, all right, that's it. Done. 260 degree oven off. I don't know if you've ever had fresh macarons before. <laughs> Forget a load of this. I, I feel like I'm in. <laughs> I feel 
feel like I'm in Paris right now. So, all right, you can stop, you can stop. Let's just let that cool, hey? Here we go. For when your cooking truly blows. Voila, we are going to pick up our first mac macaron shell. First shell, <laughs> success. Icing. <laughs> and our final one here. We have a perfect macaron. Only in the top restaurants of Australia can you get something like that. <laughs> oh, delicious. You really want that crispiness, you know? <laughs> the crispiness is what really separates a good macaron from a great macaron. Not quite as crispy as expected. It's more of a thick, gluggy <laughs> consistency. Now let's try the pistachio one. Very nutty consistency. Mmm! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, thank you for joining me on uh, my cooking adventure. Now you know how to make a perfect French macaron. Please subscribe for more delicious cooking. As the French would say, arigato. I'll see you next time. We used to hear those bombs explode up on our heads. They call this hell. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Fuck.